would be bouncing. If I buy for you, we put it in the truck. Yeah. Man, they are out of fuel right here in Seven Feathers. Crazy. It's getting crazy out here, man. So we try to stop at the Loves and there's no fuel here either. And we're running off a quarter tank. So hopefully we don't run out. It's crazy out here. It's the end of the world. Oh my God, we finally found diesel. What are you waiting for? Go put some. Bro, come on. You heard, you read the comments. Don't talk to me like that. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Stay low to trucking. Don't forget to like and subscribe. So uh, let me explain to you guys what's been going on. So earlier this morning, I woke up like at 4.30 to go to Sacramento, California, pick up a load. And that load is a one pick, three drops, it's going to be dropping off in uh, Kent, Washington, Tequila, Washington, and Seattle. So I did that all early in the morning. I just forgot to record. I felt not... I just didn't feel like recording. I wasn't tired or anything. I just didn't feel like recording. So then we went to the yard. We picked up my brother there. And then now we're heading up north to um, our first drops in Kent at 4 in the morning. Right now it's saying we're going to get there at 1 in the morning. But I decided to leave earlier because I knew there was going to be a lot of like bad weather, snow, ice, and that's exactly what's been going on. So usually I stop in Canyonville, Oregon, exit 99 on I-5 in Oregon to fuel up. They were closed. They didn't have any more diesel. Uh, we stopped at that Love's. They were closed. They didn't have any more diesel. And then we stopped at this, it's called Family Mart in Cottage Grove. So yeah, this place is called family mart in cottage grove it's like a shell it's like a little small mom and pop place truck truck stop place and this is where the traffic pretty much starts so good thing we made it just in time here i thought we were gonna run out to be honest because there was nothing no places like had diesel so i was like what the heck but luckily they did here it's a good price too i think it's like 340 i believe so yeah Besides that, though, really good paying load, and we already have a load coming back, but now the only issue we're facing is at 30 miles in Cottage Grove, Eugene, Oregon, because I guess it's super icy on the, on the road, so I don't know. That's the only problem we're facing, I guess, so we'll see what happens. Oh, yeah, and the diesel thing, but we got that solved now. Yeah, right now I went to go use a restroom, but they only have one stall open, and there's like three people in line, but my brother was like, you should turn into a transgender and use the girls because that one was empty. <laughs> so I think um, I'm turning transgender for right now and I'm going to take a crap. Are you being homophobic, huh? Huh? What if I just need to take a crap? I could be a transgender for 10 minutes, right? There's nothing wrong with that. Does being transgender for 10 minutes or being gay, let's just say gay. Does being gay for like five minutes to use a restroom make you gay forever? Just think about it. Most of you will probably be like, yeah, you're probably gay. But if you use drugs for like, if you use drugs, if you try like coke or meth for what, just one time, are you a drug addict? No, but why is it like when you're like, say you try to be gay and people say you're pretty much gay forever, which I agree with, but I'm just saying, I'm playing devil's advocate. Not yep. that I have anything against gays. I'm just saying, that's just not the way I rule. So don't be mad at me. Should I be mad at you for not being straight? I'm not mad at you. Go ahead and be gay. Ooh. Super slippery. Damn, hella smart, bro. Why is it slippery? Oh, shit. Oh man. Oh. 
No. I saw you walking out into the room. What do you mean? <laughs> I saw you. I was thinking about it. Bro, you say you're a fan's windy. You say I you're know. a woman, bro. I know. You want to kiss me? Free coffee. Yeah, Man, I really hope this high five is not closed, man. Because if it is, it's going to back me up and I'm not going to make any goddamn fucking money this month. Man. Man, these guys are over here blocking the freeway entrance. Man, this is not even a real trucker. Man, this guy's going to need help. Man. Oh, man. No, I'm just playing. Look at that guy, man. Oh, man, you're gonna hit that, man. It's never usually this packed. It's not even that packed right here, but look at over there. Please be no traffic. Just kidding. This is all traffic. Girl, put it in my... Look at that guy right there. What is he looking at? Checking out his truck. Okay, I see you, boy. Doing his post trip. slippery but if you get on this little path it's not as slippery so if you guys drive through the snow or anything through ice just try to stay away from that because that's pretty slippery right there and this is not see i'm a slip right there but yeah it's pretty much backed up
question. Are you guys supposed to put chains on your steers? Because I just saw someone do that. I didn't think you could do that, to be honest. Let me know in the comments below. Ice plan. asleep behind the wheel so we already this is our third drop i didn't record the first two because i was in a rush but once we deliver here we already have a pickup to go back to northern california